Hello, my name is Scott Whitting. I'm going to show the ability to use Smart Bus Builder in Excel to build a Michigan unemployment flat file to upload to their website. So first we're going to go into Smart List Builder. And I already have built a Smart List. And the features here, we're pulling information from the employee master file, the last name, first name, middle initial, and the social security number. And then we need to pull the check date from the uh, payroll transaction entry file so that table so that we can pull in the specific dates that we want to use on the smart list. We also have a calculated field here and the calculated field allows us to select specific transactions from the payroll transaction history file along with if you have uh, specific pay codes that aren't going to be included in the gross wages you can uh, select that here. So that's a real brief overview of the smart list that we built. And now we will go into the, the regular smart list. And I put that smart list under payroll. And it's the Michigan 1028 UIA report. So you can see here that we're pulling in the Social Security number, the last name, the first name, the middle initial. Actually, in this situation, it's the full name and the gross earnings for that. Uh, period of time based on the search criteria that we have in the uh, search criteria of the smart list. So once that's been run, I have set up a uh, Excel template that this information is going to be uh, ported to. So we'll let that run and you can see here that I have three tabs, an, an input tab, the information directly from the smart list, a header tab that allows you to put in your uh, Michigan unemployment account number, uh, the unit number, the year, and the quarter that you're running it for. And these two fields are actually uh, um, calculations from the, the input file. So we can go to the export. You can see here this has created a, a flat file that we can upload directly into the Michigan unemployment uh, website. And what I've done here also is I've made it more rows than what uh, number of employees I have. So the only thing you'll need to do, highlight that data, copy it. You can actually paste it just into a notepad. And there's the data. Once you save it as a text file, you can go to the Michigan Unemployment website and upload this data directly there. Thanks.